Hello, welcome to my another session. In this session, I have a talk about introduction to human reproductive system. What is the meaning of reproduction? The production of new individual from old individual is known as reproduction. Here, the new individual is known as the offspring or the progeny and the old individuals are father and the mother. The female parent is the mother and the male parent is the father. And the process by which new individuals are produced, this process is known as the reproductive process. And those systems are involved in the reproduction. This system is known as the reproductive system. And those organs are involved in reproduction. This is known as the reproductive organs. Here, the reproductive organs may be two types. Those organs produce the male and female gametes. These reproductive organs are known as the primary reproductive organs. And those organs help or assist the process of reproduction. Those organs are known as the accessory reproductive organ or secondary reproductive organ. Accessory reproductive organs are the secondary reproductive organs. So human are the dioecious. Dioecious. It means the male reproductive organ is restricted in the male individual and the female reproductive organ present in the female individual. So you can say that the sexes are separate. Here the male individual and the female individuals are separate and this condition is known as the dioecious. So human is the dioecious and human also viviparous. It means the human being give birth to young one. So this condition is known as the viviparous. And in case of human, the male individual distinguished from the female individual morphologically or easily. So you can distinguish the male individual from the female individual or female individual from the male individual by means of the uh, morphological structure and this condition is known as the sexual dimorphism the sexual dimorphism so here human beings are the dioecious viviparous and the sexual dimorphism now come to the different events of the reproductive process. There are so many events. As you know that the male parent is known as the father and the female parent is known as the mother. So the first reproductive process is the formation of gametes. In case of father, the sperms are produced. The production of sperms takes place in case of father. And the production of sperm is known as the spermatogenesis. Spermato genesis and in case of mother the production of egg takes place and the production of egg or the ovum is known as the oogenesis oogenesis so collectively the formation of sperm and the production of the egg collectively known as the gametogenesis. So sperm or ovum 
these are collectively known as gametes that's why the production of sperm and ovum collectively known as gametogenesis so gametogenesis this is the first event of the reproductive process and the second event by which lead sperm comes out from the father body and deposited into a or deposited into the female reproductive tract or the vagina of the female and this process is known as the insemination so the second event may be the insemination insemination is the process by which the sperms are deposited into the vagina of the female it takes place by means of sexual intercourse sexual intercourse or copulation or it also known as the coitus so during copulation the male individual insert the erected penis into the vagina of the female and deposit the sperm this process is known as the insemination so after insemination the sperm this is the motile and the ovum this is the immotile the fusion of sperm and the ovum takes place the fusion of sperm and the ovum takes place and this event is known as the fertilization fertilization in case of human the fertilization or the fusion of sperm and the ovum takes place inside the ampulla of the fallopian tube or which takes place inside the body of the female that's why such type of fertilization is known as the internal fertilization after fertilization after fusion of haploid sperm with haploid ovum which produce the diploid zygote suppose that this is the diploid zygote it means two n number of chromosome is present in the zygote so this is the fertilized zygote now such zygote undergo the repeated mitotic division and which produce so many blastomia first it arranged in a solid ball is known as the murla then a hollow space is formed at the center of the murla and this structure is known as the blastula so different stages actually comes one by one the first may be the murla then the blastula and the blastula undergoes the gastrulation process and which forms gastrula so the by the process of repeated mitotic division of the zygote the zygote undergoes a series of changes first it forms the murula then blastula then gastrula so uh, these are the different events you can say the formation of murula by the process of the repeated mitotic division of the zygote this is known as the cleavage the production of blastula from the murula this process is known as the blastulation the production of gastrula from blastula so during the gastrulation process this blastula convert into three layer gastrula the outer is known as ectoderm 
middle is known as the mesoderm and the inner is known as the endoderm so these three layers from these three layers different organs and the tissue systems are developed that's why these three layers are known as the germ layer suppose that these are the three layers outer is the ectoderm middle is the mesoderm inner is the endoderm these are known as the three germ layers that's why the human beings are the triploblastic so formation of gastrula this process is known as the gastrulation so there are different events the first starts from the gametogenesis the formation of a sperm as well as the ovum the sperm in the male and the ovum in female and insemination means the deposition of the sperm into the vagina of the female this is the insemination then the fusion of sperm and the ovum is known as the fertilization then the zygote undergoes the repeated mitotic division which is known which is known as the cleavage and by such cleavage process the morula is formed the morula undergoes the blastulation process which form the blastula or the blastocyte this blastocyte this blastocyte now comes to the uterus suppose that this is the uterus this is the ampulla of fallopian tube the blastocyte is formed here and in this condition the blastocyte comes to the uterus suppose that this is the uterus and the attachment of blastocytes to the wall of uterus is taking place the attachment of blastocytes with the wall of uterus this process is known as the implantation this process is known as implantation this is the implantation so the one is gametogenesis second insemination third is fertilization fourth is cleavage fifth is the formation of blastula sixth is the implantation and seventh onwards gastrulation as well as the formation of different organs and the formation of different organ system is taking place this process is known as the organogenesis organo genesis so the seventh events of the fertilization process is the organogenesis at last the fetus or the embryo which develop inside the uterus and the complete development of the complete development of fetus or the embryo which takes about 280 days approximately 280 days in case of human and this period is known as gestation period gestation period so the period starting from the implantation or starting from the fertilization to the birth of the young this period is known as the gestation period gestation period is the total developmental period which takes place inside the uterus of the mother so this period is known as the gestation period in case of human it is about 280 days 
so after organogenesis after total development of the embryo or the fetus the delivery of embryo is taking place this process is known as the parturition this is known as the parturition parturition is the process the embryo comes out from the uterus of the mother and this is known as the child birth or the parturition the expelling or the delivering of the baby from the mother uterus this is known as the parturition so the here the eight events actually present mainly eight events are present in reproductive process of the human being and all these events taking place after the puberty of the male and the female individual so the different events which starts from the gametogenesis and end in the parturition or the delivery of the young one so in this connection i should mention some other terms which are related to this topic uh, for example the oviparous ovoviviparous ovoviviparous hermaphrodite monoecious monoecious so i think you know the meaning of these words and in my next video i will tell about the meaning of these words the human beings are the viviparous sexual dimorphism and human being also the dioecious and what is the meaning of monoecious try to think and search the meaning of these words so thank you for watching